I've been hustling hard to build my own Bitcoin mining farm. Also trying to document the process and making some minor reviews here on YouTube along the way. Hey, I'm Drew Vosk. You're on the Vosk YouTube channel. This is the Vosk mining farm. It's intense though. A month in cryptocurrency feels like a year in many other sectors. Today, I want to talk about a $3,000 Bitcoin miner from about four to five months ago. It's a Canon Avalon miner. There's many different miner models. I'll explain it more as we go through this video. But basically, was a $3,000 Bitcoin miner of this generation worth it? Has it been profitable? Would I do it again? Would I get a different one? Because so much of what I do is go, 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 go. It restricts me from looking back and analyzing as much as I'd like to do so. Because if I don't review properly what we've done, I may make repeated mistakes. You may recognize the Canon or Avalon name because they have the Nano 3, the Nano 3S, the Mini 3, their new Q Miner. They have been absolutely killing it in the Mini Miner game. When we showcased their Nano 3 uh, last year, the video went viral, it was crazy, and it referred like $2 million worth of pre-orders. I, I, I didn't expect the video to go crazy. You never really do, I guess. Uh, I'm also shocked at the amount of demand for mini Bitcoin mining, but I guess when Bitcoin was trading around $100,000 per coin, why not? A couple hundred bucks, you get a shot at Bitcoin? It's pretty interesting, pretty appealing. But before that, Canon was one of the major miner manufacturers and still are. They create their own ASIC chips, application specific integrated circuit. These custom chips only do one function. They mine Bitcoin, they hash the SHA-256 mining algorithm. We pull up their shop, right? And some of the things that come across the screen are their latest A15 series. So these are basically the updated current production versions uh, of the miner that I'm really focused on today, the A1566. We recently put out videos actually on the A15 Pro as well as the A15 XP. What's crazy is if you have say a bunch of solar, right? You could get some insane cheap hash for the dollar. For example, you can get a Bitcoin miner that's essentially one generation old, the 1326 109 tera hash here, right? For $654. Or you can get a Nano 3S that does six terahash a second at $300. But here's the difference. This is pretty efficient, latest generation efficiency essentially, whereas the other miner is an absolute gas guzzler equivalent, right? To make a car comparison, consuming well over 3000 watts of electricity. Canon sells miners direct, but if you're looking for even more Bitcoin miner options, quick shipping and competitive pricing, make sure to check out coin mining central who distribute not only big cannon miners little cannon miners and many other bitcoin and other asic mining rigs link out in the video description below and don't forget code Voscoin to save some coin the a1566 has had many different models mine in particular is actually the 212 terahash a second version and it reportedly is consuming around 3700 watts of electricity so while this name may be what pops up and is uh you know, what you'd want to click on if i wanted a closer mining profitability breakdown it would actually be more like the a15 xp so this is mining now and they give you a breakdown on the coins you can mine uh, the mining profitability, you can easily change the, the electricity rate, right? So like all in my farm rate is about seven and a half cents, eight cents per kilowatt hour. I have a couple meters that I need to basically have higher usage out of. Uh, and until I do that, I'm paying about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And look at the difference, right? You reduce your electricity cost for, you know, in my case by 25%. And I go from profiting barely even, not even quite a dollar per day after I uh account for my electricity cost you know 80 90 cents to almost two dollars and 80 cents what does that break down to though right so if i'm mining bitcoin i'm mining about eight nine dollars a day in coin which is about ten thousand eleven thousand satoshis or you know the micro unit of bitcoin now let's look back over the last three months right now eight to ten dollars a day in mining profitability but we go back three months ago, the revenue on this was over $12, which means 
that I was profiting essentially $5 a day on this miner, if not more later in January, profiting over $7 per day after I account for the electricity on this device. I've had it four or five months and the average I'm gonna take is probably gonna be about $5 of actual profit, right? on this miner 600 or more dollars in actual bitcoin mining profitability however the fact that i am just holding these coins i'm mining and i'm holding long term and paying for the electricity out of pocket i'm probably pulling about 12 dollars worth of coin per day and then we break that out over that same 120 day period that's 1440 dollars maybe or roughly or of bitcoin pretty easy math i've been mining bitcoin in a mining pool with other bitcoin miners and why would you use a mining pool that's one of the questions we've been getting a lot recently in the comments basically in a mining pool like this you pull your hash rate with a bunch of other bitcoin miners and everybody earns a little bit of bitcoin every day guaranteed and these numbers are what everything is uh, based off of there i've also been doing a lot of solo mining recently so i've got like 20 mini bitcoin miners and their cumulative hash rate is about 72 terahash a second you can see I've got everything from the Canon Mini 3 uh, to bit axes and a lot of other devices. The bottom line is these earn me nothing every single day, but they do cost me every single day. So I'm losing money every day running those all in the hopes that I copied that of basically hitting a Bitcoin block. I have a chance per year of one in 222 to earn about a quarter million dollars in Bitcoin. Realistically, how much does it cost me per day? Uh, I'm probably spending around like 10 bucks per day. 10 bucks per day adds up. I'm basically spending $3,650 a year to play the Bitcoin lottery, but I'm cool with that right? Because I could do this for the next five years and not even spend 10% of the winning value here. But let's bring it back to that miner. I recently changed the mining configuration on it. But before that, here's just one of many examples I've had. 18 days of uptime. Here's the deal. This miner has been great. It's worked exactly as it's supposed to out of the box since the day I plugged it in. It's run in a 100 degree room with no airflow, stagnant heat, and it still keeps hashing away. I've always been astonished that these do not have rear fans. With their design, just these big old front fans are plenty to get that cooling done for these miners. The bottom line is I've been very happy with this device. My only gripe, really, is one, I actually have two gripes. One, it doesn't come with a power cable and they use a weird power cable. So huge shout out to Altair for carrying all kinds of Bitcoin mining parts, including the Canon power cable. So when I get these and I'm like, oh crap, they have a power cable that looks just like the other power cable that the Bitmain Antminer series uses, but it's not the same uh, that he's got stock here in the USA and he's always shipping his stuff out very quickly. I've been very impressed with him. We do have an affiliate link, coupon code VOSCOIN to save some coin, all that stuff. But the bottom line is good service, good guy, and here in the States, which means that I get my stuff quick and I do not have the most dreaded thing in the Bitcoin mining game, downtime. That's one of my gripes. My other gripe with the miner is going to be the efficiency. So I haven't loaded the exact specs in here. So we can see the efficiency on this device is 17 to 18 watts per terahash, or oftentimes it's called joules per terahash. You get a lot of cost per hash buying these mining machines, especially with the recent market dip. However, some of the latest Bitcoin miner releases are pushing efficiency that's like 20% better. I would love to reduce my electricity bill by like 20%. However, these Canon miners still earn more than they burn. And if you've got a cheap electricity rate, they've got some of the best cost per hash in the game. And their immersion miner model is so freaking cool. And spoiler, we got one. 
and it's been really impressive so far out of the box to the point that I just want to replace all of my immersed miners only with immersion specific models. Oh, and it works on single phase electricity, unlike the Ant Miner Immersion series, which was a huge miss by Bitmain. Forgot I still have my mic on. Uh, so, hey, I'm Boss here on the Bosco on YouTube channel. That's my long term review on an approximately $3,000 Bitcoin miner here in 2025, specifically the Canon A1566 212 terahash per second Bitcoin miner model. However, their entire generation, the 1500 generation here, um, has, in my experience and so far, and I have four of these. Uh, four different models from this generation have all been great, rock solid, and doing exactly what they're supposed to do right out of the box. Very happy with them. I also had the 1300 series, uh, 1200 series as well, uh, and some of their older ones um, way back in the day. But the bottom line is all of my cannon miners have basically been good performance. Not always the most efficient energy-wise, but absolute rock solid machines. And sometimes that's worth it. Kind of like driving an old truck. So hey, I'm Bosco here on the Bosco on YouTube channel. This is Tail. You're in 10 seconds. That's super cutie pup on every video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please subscribe if you did, and please subscribe if you didn't. Goodbye.